Hello, it's Dr. Triple O Seven, and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make your own production company intro. We'll be mocking a professional production company and changing the text and kind of making it our own. So this is kind of for a school project or just for fun. Um, basically, it's going to create a video file that you can put in front of a vid different video, whatever, and it's pretty cool. And today we'll be using 20th Century Fox. There's many different types of intros. Um, the program we're using is called Blender. So if you like a different one, just Google Blender intros, um, Universal Studios Blender intro, whatever you're looking for, um, te Blender template, and then type it it, and I'm sure you'll find one that you can download. Now templates are basically things that are done for you. All you have to do is change the text and then save them so that's what we'll be doing today now changing the text for templates is pretty much similar across all of them so that's why I'm showing you 20th Century Fox I'll have the one that I'm using in that link below that way you can follow what I'm doing so to download Blender go to blender.org slash download slash get Blender and what you can do is download for Windows or if you're in Linux you can do that as well but I would suggest you the installer because that allows you to open the Blender files right from the Blender file, you can just double click it. But if not, you can download the portable version as well. So download one of them and we can continue on. So install it or just leave it alone if you did a portable version. And if you did a, a installer version, you can go ahead to the other download link that you downloaded and just open it up. Otherwise, you'll have to go into Blender and then hit File Open and then open a template. Now I'm going to, I must warn you guys, we are rendering. And here's a good um, file below that's in the link um, talking about rendering. When you render a file, it uses 100% of your CPU. Basically, it makes up all the frames um, and then makes them a video. So if you, there's, a, there's four different templates in the download link or in the link. And the 20th Century Fox has nine and 20th Century Fox Searchlight are very complex and they can take one to two days on a good CPU. Now the definition of a good CPU is a quad core with three gigahertz or better. So if you're running a notebook or a laptop, odds are you're not gonna have this unless you have a high-end one. So basically if you have a low-end computer, I won't even try doing this. Um, you know, it's gonna depend. Now the template that I'm using is this one right here. And this one takes only five, six hours on a good CPU. Now I have a high-end computer, so it's probably gonna take my computer maybe three to four, maybe less, um, depending how it does. But basically, when you do the rendering, you cannot use your computer until it's done. So if you have an old laptop, it could take possibly days for the simple one right here. So um, check out your computer. If it's decent, you can try it. Um, but if it's a low-end low computer, I wouldn't even try it. It could fry your computer. But yeah, so anyway, we'll continue on. So go ahead and open up the Blender file. Now I must warn you, Blender is a bit of a glitchy program. I find it's always a keystroke behind my computer. At least it's me, for example. Um, whenever I click something, it's like I have to click something else in order for it to do the last thing. So. If yours is like that as well, I usually use the arrows to like catch it up. You'll see what I mean. All right, so now it's open. You can see instantly we have the 20th Century Fox. We have two different windows. We have the camera perspective, and then we have our own perspective for um, editing purposes. So using the wheel on your mouse, you can zoom in and out. Um, zoom out a bit so you can see everything. Now what we'll do is kind of change the words. And that's, that's the purpose of this video. So what we'll do is just right click on a word that you want to change and then press the tab button on your keyboard. I just pressed tab and it didn't do anything. It actually did, but like I said before, it takes a second or two, to, or it takes a um, actual another press to react to the last one. So I want to press the arrow key and you're going to see that it actually reacts to my last one. Now what we'll do is I'm going to delete this and just change it to like first. So I'll just press the delete button a couple times. And I'll put the 
letter one there. And when I'm done with that, I'll press the tab button. Now I don't want this, so I will right click that, press tab again, and I'll change that to ST. Oops. And press tab you know that one. So what you can do is you can just easily pull it around. So you can just uh, drag it around if you prefer. And playing with it, you can adjust the size of it as well. Now use this camera and this camera to see the depth and everything like that. Uh, obviously this is kind of a bad example, but by right clicking and pulling around, you can actually pull it around a bit. And then you can right click again to stop it. And then you can right click on the first word. Oops, didn't save. And then you can also use the arrows here to adjust the size of it. So you want to play with it until you like it. Obviously you probably you won't do first century fox, but I'm just making an example of this. So I'll change this word. I'll press the tab button and I'll just press I'll make it to uh, production. Now you notice that the word production is a bit long. So I have two different options. I can easily take the red tab here and just shrink it a bit. Or if I prefer, I can actually grab these little um, notches below it and extend those out. So do that with both of them. And then you should be able to get it on. Ah, it's not doing the top one. So just get them to line up and then you can adjust the top one again. So obviously first production fox makes no sense, but just customize the words. I'm just showing you guys an example. But anyway, I'm going to leave it like this for now. So once you're actually done, what you can do is, once you're done editing text, is go to your output tab right here and click the little button right here. And it's going to ask you where you want to save it. And this is a good location right here. This is where it actually was um, made. So you can click that right there, I guess, and click the accept button. Now it's going to show it there, so the name of it is going to be 0, um, 0, 0, 1 to 6,000, or 600, sorry, AVI. You can leave this file right here, the H264, and what you can also do is then go here, and we have render presets by clicking on it and then pulling up, it shows the different presets. So, for best quality, what you want to do is the HDTV 1080p. Now, that's HD 1080p, so obviously it's going to take much longer than if you did do this one right here. So this is where you have a couple different options. If you have a loading computer, do one of the top ones here, and it shouldn't take too, too long. It'll probably take five or six hours. Um, for me, I can do 1080p and get five or six hours. The difference is the quality when you go full screen. So play with it a bit. Um, you may want to start low, and if it takes only a couple hours, then maybe tonight or something like that, you can render it again. Um, go to bed, render it, and then in the, in the morning, be awake. So I'm going to do HD 1080p, and then it fills this stuff out for you. And now you're basically done. The only thing you have left to do is plus the animation button, and it's going to open a, win open a window and start to animate. My suggestion is before you do that, um, go to File, and click Save. And basically that's going to allow Oracle File, and click Save As. And then just click um, the template we were using, and click save. Um, that's just going to make sure, just in case it, your computer crashes from the render, you're still going to have the text that you saved. Now what I want to do is I'm going to switch to my phone and show you guys the animation progress and a couple frames of it. Now the reason I'm doing this is like I said before, um, when you do the rendering, it's going to use 100% of your computer. Now when, I'm, when you're recording, it actually uses a lot of your computer as well because it has to you know, record and code and that kind of stuff. And 
simply recording and rendering is going to really slow down the recording, may lag a bit, and also the rendering. So I'm going to stop the rendering, or the recording, sorry, and start the rendering. Alright, so now on the outside of the computer, underneath the render tab, press the animation button, and that will automatically start the animation of rendering. Now this is where you can see how fast your computer is going to be when it renders. Uh, as you can tell, depending on how many cores you have, etc., it's going to depend on how many lines move at the same time. I have a six core processor, so I have more cores working on this project, which means more um, things being rendered at once. If you have a four core processor, you will not see as many um, lines going at once, and you can see it's going to do each one. Now every time it finishes one, it goes to the next frame. It's going to do this 600 times. There you can see the um, frame. And that's the render um, thing. And here's the next frame. So every time it goes to the next frame, it's going to move a bit more and more um, until it finally gets to frame 600, which is the ending of the video. And it's going to be the actual, just final words. Alright, so mine is done rendering. You will know when it's done rendering when the picture stops moving. It will be done in a frame on six, also in the corner it will say frame 600. And it, once it's at that one, then you're basically done. Now, um, you can simply exit out or you can press previous screen and save and exit out. Doesn't really matter though, um, you can exit out though. If you go back to your folder where you saved it to, you should see this file right here. You can open it up. And you hear the music and everything plays perfectly fine. Now, depending on the video quality or high resolution that you put it at, it depends on how clear it is. I made it the highest one, so that's why it's uh, nice quality. Now, if the audio is a bit too quiet, you can put it into an editing program, and kind of ramp up the audio a bit. Um, that's also fine. But I have to let you know that when, if you do that, make sure you export it at the same resolution as you rendered it as. So that way it doesn't mess with the quality, etc. So that is about for this, that's it for this video guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like. If you like this kind of video, uh, let me know. Maybe I'll do some more of them. And besides that guys, have a great day. I'll have some more templates below. Now I'll see you in the next video. Stacker777, and I'm signing off.